hyperbola. As we have discussed about circle, parabola, ellipse, now comes the next conic section which is hyperbola. As we have dis discussed in the previous session that hyperbola is the conic section of a bicone which we have seen when it is cut along the cone we get the cross section which is a hyperbola. So that hyperbola is what we are going to discuss in the session more briefly through the mathematical properties. Now as we know that hyperbola is the locus of a point P such that its distance from the fixed point which I denote with S if the distance of this locus from the fixed point S is always greater than the distance from the fixed straight line that is if I take the distance from P to the fixed straight line L then we say the perpendicular distance then we say that the locus is a hyperbola that is if SP which is the distance from S fixed point to the locus and by PM which is the perpendicular distance from P to the line fixed straight line L is always greater than we say the locus P follows a path which we call as hyperbola this is how we get this in the form that implies is the condition for existence of hyperbola s being the fixed point l being the fixed line and p being the locus sp by pm should always be greater than 1 this is how we connect the hyperbola with its mathematical inequality now let's see the eccentricity of hyperbola conditions. The eccentricity is generally denoted by E, which is nothing but the ratio of SP by PM. That's how we define the eccentricity. And for hyperbola, The condition is that E is greater than 1. This is how we define the eccentricity of the hyperbola. E is greater than 1 for hyperbola. Now let's see the equation of hyperbola. Before we discuss the equation of hyperbola in standard form, it is very important to understand or identify the shape of hyperbola exactly on xy coordinate system. So let's see how an hyperbola looks on an xy coordinate system. Suppose I have my x axis and my y axis out here with center as origin. Now, an hyperbola looks something like this. It is like a biparabola where I have two parabolas on either side which are symmetric about y-axis. This is the mirror image of this with respect to y-axis. Now as I have my center as origin, my focus lies somewhere here. Then the other focus on the other side lies out here. This is how we identify the focus of these two things. Now as I have this, I take the point P 
on the hyperbola as this and similarly I take the point here as P dash. Now I drop a perpendicular from P onto this line which exists out here. Said there are two lines. L and L dash out here. And I drop a perpendicular from S to P, which is M. And from P dash, to M dash, which is this, <laughs> which clearly show that SP is greater than PM because for hyperbola, SP is always greater than PM and hence S dash P dash is greater than P dash M dash. This is how we understand this. So with this, we identify that S, S dash are called the foci of the hyper hyperbola, the plural of focus. S is the focus and S dash is the focus and S, S dash are the foci of the hyperbola. And L and L dash are said to be the directrices of the hyperbola, which we have here are the directrices of the hyperbola. The center is origin. The center of hyperbola is said to be origin 0 comma 0 is how we identify in this case. And P and P dash are said to be the points on the hyperbola. So with this, let's define each of the standard form of equation of hyperbola using the basic information of foci, directrix and origin. Now here, the equation of hyperbola is given by x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 is how I identify the equation of hyperbola in this form where here I assume a is greater than b and b square is a square into e square minus 1. So these are the two properties through which I define the standard form of hyperbola where equation of hyperbola in standard form is x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 with a greater than b and b square is given by a square times e square minus 1 where in ellipse it is 1 minus e square here it is e square minus 1 simply because e is greater than 1 and in case of ellipse e is less than 1 in case of hyperbola e is greater than 1 given by b square equals a square times e square minus 1 equation of hyperbola in standard form.